Here is everything you need to know about protecting your assets from divorce. First of all, it is perfectly legal and effective if done properly. In order to do it properly, you must do it before the divorce begins and you cannot protect jointly owned marital property. The protection is even better if you can do it before the marriage takes place, but you can still do it after the marriage occurs. The assets which you can protect best are liquid assets such as stocks, cash, bonds, cryptocurrency. However, it is still possible to protect other assets such as real estate and a business. Like with any lawsuit, you should keep in mind the ultimate goal is to reach an acceptable settlement. In a divorce, you should expect to pay some settlement, but why not reach a settlement on your terms? When it comes to the strategy for protecting your assets, there's no substitute for an offshore asset protection trust. Prenups and postnups can be beneficial, however, those are frequently disregarded. Domestic asset protection trusts can offer some level of protection, however, there are many cases where these trusts completely fail to protect assets. And plaintiff attorneys know this, and they will be much more aggressive in going after assets held in a domestic asset protection trust than they would be in an offshore asset protection trust. When creating an offshore trust, you will want to establish your trust in one of the three most protective jurisdictions, which are the Cook Islands, Nevis, and Belize. In most circumstances, I recommend my clients start with the Cook Islands, as the Cook Islands are well regarded as the most protective jurisdiction, which gives you the most leverage to negotiate an acceptable settlement.